What's up guys? This is Dana from Russ's Ocean State Harley-Davidson here in Warwick, Rhode Island. And uh, I'm out here tonight with this Harley-Davidson Live Wire. This is a 2020 Harley-Davidson Live Wire. We just have had some questions from a lot of people this week, especially the last couple of weeks where a lot of people have been coming to ride this motorcycle and take advantage of some of the uh, offers that are going on. Um, questions about charging, specifically uh, DC fast charging. So when you buy this motorcycle, I'll show you guys under the seat, give me, you get this, you get this arrangement here. So this is your plug for the bike and this is a wall plug. So you get this plug set up that is an AC charging plug that you can plug into the AC outlet in your house, alternating current outlet, and you can charge this motorcycle in about 11 hours from zero. There's a little button under the seat, by the way, if you ever want to close this seat. So, so, but what if you want to charge the bike faster? So all over the country now, they're building these DC fast charging stations. So this is DC direct current. So the power in your house is alternating current. It's AC current. I'll put my finger here. It's kind of going back and forth on the wire like this. Direct current goes from the pot, from the, from the one terminal of the battery straight to the other terminal of the battery. So all batteries are actually direct current. So the advantage of charging the bike with direct current is that you don't need to go through any kind of converter. So inside this motorcycle, you can see some of the wiring, some of the orange wiring is the DC wiring. You see some red wiring in so under this cowling that's under the artificial fuel tank. And the red wiring goes to the AC charging unit, which basically takes AC power, converts it into DC power, and then feeds it into the battery as DC power. So one of these stations, the DC fast charging station, you don't need to do that. You don't need to convert the AC to DC. So here on the live wire, you have this cap. So this upper plug, which is just like the one that was under the seat, you plug in here for just AC, but for a DC fast charger, like one of these we have here, you flip this piece up, and now this plug right here, you can see this is the combination plug it's called. Um, this plug will plug right into the motorcycle and charge it with DC power. So how does that work? Well, basically you need to have an app so I actually had to borrow Barbara's cell phone so I could have my phone be free. So you have this charge point app and when you open the charge point app up, it gives you locations of all the chargers that you can go to. So right now we're right here off Jefferson Boulevard. This is our charger here. So if you come over to the unit, you can say you can check, you can find out what the price is here. It's $1.50 per hour, which is insanely cheap. That's how we're attracting people to the dealership. So down here, you can see this kind of like an RFID signature. All you do is tap your phone here. It buzzes once. It'll pop up with your charge point app. Double click to confirm. You gotta show your face ID again. Hold this near the reader. It beeps one time. And so now it's saying plug in. All right, so now we're going to take the combination plug. Now you may see there's two different types of plugs here. This is a Chad, Chadimos plug or Chadimos plug or Chadimo, depending on who you talk to. This plug, the combination plug, is by far the more common plug that you find in most places. So now we're going to take this plug over here to the motorcycle. We're going to kind of line it up and plug it in until it clicks. All right. So now you see on the screen over here it says waiting for EV. And on the screen here, you say it has estimated time till full, unplugged the ride. So this bike's down to 42% right now. So this part takes a minute. You wanna be patient when you plug in. It takes about a minute. There's a couple things that are happening here. One is the charger is talking to the motorcycle. The motorcycle is talking to the charger, telling it how much charge it can take. It also has like a degaussing process it goes through. And see this thing just clicked. It says in use now at the top of the charger. See, it says 42%. But see, as of right now, there's still no battery power going into the bike. So, oh, just changed. So now you can hear a click noise just happen in the motorcycle. Now it's estimating how long is it to till full. And you see right now it's charging at all the way up at 20.6 kW. So this charger is capable of going all the way up to 62 and a half kW. But right now it's charging at 20.6. 
you'll see that this rate will go up or down based on the time in the battery. And right now we're at 49 minutes, but you'll see that improve actually. As the battery warms up a little bit, you'll see it's it'll start charging at a little bit quicker rate. And once it gets all the way up to the 25 kW that this is capable of charging at, you'll see all these numbers will start to kind of come up. I suspect being at 44%, this bike will probably eventually get to a status where it says time to full will probably be closer to 15 or 20 minutes, probably closer to 20 minutes. So on a DC fast charger charging at the full amount, to go through the entire process takes about 40 minutes. So it's not bad. You can go from, you know, basically zero range to 80% in about 40 minutes. And then the DC fast charger will make it so it goes a lot quicker. So it's a lot quicker than your, say, 11 hours that you would have in your house. Uh, now, Harley Davidson recommends that because DC fast charging is a little bit stressful on the battery because it charges it so quickly that they have a ratio that they've come up with of basically one fast charge for every four um, charges in your house. So they basically don't want you to go to a fast charger every day and power up your bike. Shouldn't be a problem for most people, especially if you're plugging in at work to a regular, you know, 110 outlet or, you know, a regular AC outlet. So this is pretty cool. You can see the power is going up and down. Right now we've added two miles, 46% battery life. Um, I'm gonna check this thing out for a little while and just let it charge for 10 or 20 minutes and just see where we wind up on our bike here. And uh, because we've never actually plugged in the bike while it was low power before. So this is kind of a big experiment for us too to make sure that our fast charger is working properly. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how a DC fast charger works, how it plugs in. Basically the same process that works for a car. See these lights kind of show, it shows red at the bottom and yellow blinking. And this, it, this status will rise as the bike is charging. And if you touch on the screen, it'll give you the full status. So pretty high tech stuff. So if you want to ride a live wire, come on down to OSHD. And uh, right now, while supplies last, we have a t-shirt and a poster that we're giving away. And uh, we're going to try to get as many people out on this bike. So far, the reviews of people coming back is the smiles are ear to ear, you know, from helmet chin strap to helmet chin strap. Everyone is loving riding this bike. And uh, I got to say, it's we've ridden it around quite a bit now. It is, it is insanely fun. Super smooth. Um, it's super uh, nimble really well balanced and i think another comment i keep getting from people is that they just can't believe what a difference the regenerative you know braking makes on riding the bike you hardly have to touch the brakes at all if it's set properly so it's pretty cool so anyway thanks guys see our full inventory online oceanstatehd.com hope everyone has a great day a beautiful sunset tonight